Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video, which is the not enough time to do all these tags mashup tag, which was created by J Maddox Entertainment. I was tagged by him and basically it's for anyone who has way too many tags to do to ever get them done and I am fitting perfectly into that category because I have 61 undone tags on my list of ones that I still wanted to do so I have put together seven of those tags and chosen one or two questions to do from each of them and this will get me caught up so that I only have tags from 2020 and 2021 to do from now on, which is good. I'm getting the 2019 tags out of the way. I do want to say that I'm sorry it took me this long to get to all these tags. These are all really great tags and that's why they were still on my list to want to get to at some point. The first tag is the Netflix book tag and I was tagged by Novel Crawler and this tag was created by a darker shade of Whitney and the question is recently watched the last book you finished the last book I finished was the house next door by Anne River Siddons this was an interesting take on a haunted house story because this is not an old creepy house this is a brand new built house and it is causing a lot of trouble in this neighborhood. The next tag is the booktube real talk tag and I was tagged by the Spinebreakers and this tag was created by Books with Alyssa J. The question is what's something nobody told you about booktube before you started your channel? Something that I didn't know when I started my booktube channel is just how much time it takes to keep a channel up and all the different activities and things behind the scenes that you don't really know about that go into making a successful channel. Reading the books, then planning videos, recording videos, editing videos, upload time. That's enough. That's a whole lot of time all in itself. Then you have other social medias. You could keep up, keeping up with watching all of your friends' videos and making sure to go back and comment on all those videos. I usually watch videos a lot. Um, many hours a day while doing other things. Uh, I'll either have an audiobook going or I'll be watching videos, but I'm always doing something else. So it's hard to go back and to comment on every single one of those videos. So I usually allot a chunk of time on the weekends to go back and comment on all of the videos that I watch for the week and yeah it is a very time-consuming hobby and a very rewarding one and I got what I wanted from it which is to have people to talk to about the books that I love. The next tag is the bookish boxes and buzzwords tag. I was tagged by Amy Gets Lit and it was created by Lizzie Fay Loves Books. And the question is, your go-to genre or favorite type of book? So my go-to genre used to be fantasy. Now it tends to be horror, but my favorite type of book can cross many different genres and I still go to a lot of different genres but my go-to favorite types of books are very dark usually they are 
tear jerkers, um, especially if they deal with grief, something like that. I love, I love, I love. A book is just more likely to get a five star rating for me if it hits me hard emotionally. So that is my favorite type of book. The next tag is hashtag page to screen tag. And I was tagged by Bard of the Dandelions and it was created, I don't know who created this one. First question for this one is what page to scream, scream, okay. What page to screen made you cry in both formats? And that would be a certain scene from Storm of Swords and season three of Game of Thrones that I will not say exactly what it was, but cried like a baby both times. And the next question for that tag is, what page to screen are you looking forward to this year? And that would definitely have to be the adaptation for Frank Herbert's Dune. The trailer looks amazing and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to come out in 2021, if not 2022, but it is coming up very soon and I can't wait. I love this book and I love this story. And from the trailer, it looks like they're really doing it justice. So I cannot wait. The next tag is the We Ain't Getting Any Younger book tag which was created by Codex Cantina and I was tagged by Lost Cunningham. And the question is, sometimes we get older and wider instead of older and wiser. Name the longest book you've ever read. That is definitely The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. And it's also one of my all time favorite books that I've ever read. This one is over 1400 pages. So that one probably won't get beat anytime soon. <laughs> Next tag, second Toma round tag. And I was tagged by Books of Blood and it was created by the Hungry Bookworm. First question, do you buy secondhand books? Why, yes, I do. I love buying secondhand books whenever possible because I love the thrill of the hunt. When I find something super special, there is nothing that quite meets that feeling of excitement. And going along with that is the next question. Have you found any real gems in the used bookstore? Yes, I have. First, I have some paperbacks. Um, Ruby Jean Jensen books are so hard to find and I've only ever found one. The Reckoning, she always has the best covers with the creepiest dolls on them. And this was in such great shape too. There was not a single crease in the spine. And I also have my books I found that were featured in the Paperbacks from Hell book by Grady Hendrix uh, that I am always keeping my eyes up for, out for. I found uh, The House Next Door by Anne, Anne Rivers Siddons. Somebody Come and Play by Claire McNally. a step back. The Longest Night by J.N. Williamson. And When Darkness Loves Us by Elizabeth Ingstrom. But I've also found some really great additions used like this beautiful book which is The Sound and the Fury by William Faulkner. I just love these old leather bound, beautiful books. 
gold sprayed edges like it's gorgeous so these really cool additions are prized possessions i also found this really nice um it's kind of it's kind of beat up a little bit but slip case edition of heart of darkness by joseph conrad i just love the pattern there's like speckles on the edges I also found this great Reader's Digest copy of Jane Eyre, which is one of my favorite books. So I was happy to have this gorgeous edition. Always looking for great editions of my favorite books. Speaking of which, I also found this slipcase. Beautiful edition of Game of Thrones, the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. I just love it. So those are my gems that I found out used book sale shopping. And the last tag that I'm going to include in this mashup tag is the bookcase tag. I was tagged by Dane Reads and it was created by Minx Laura 123 Wacky World. The first question is how many bookcases do you have? I have seven bookcases that are all dangerously full. The last question is how do you organize your bookcases? It seems like I keep adding on more and more ways to organize my books, but the basic gist of it is that I have my mass market paperbacks on the top shelves. Then I have paperbacks in the middle and then hardbacks and extra tall paperbacks on the bottom shelves on five of the seven of my bookcases. They are also organized by genre and then by author's last name within each genre. So I shouldn't ever have much trouble finding what I need because it's organized in so many different ways. And then one of my bookcases has TV seasons on it and not books. And the top shelf is for specialty channel shows like HBO, Showtime, stuff like that. And then the second shelf is for network channel TV shows like the CW, NBC, CBS, that kind of thing. And then the bottom shelf is for new seasons that I have not watched yet. So they're kind of my watch ne next list. And the last bookcase I have is my TBR bookcase. And the top shelf has my current month's TBR. The second shelf has my finished books for the current month and setting aside books for the next month. The third shelf has books in progress and that I need to get back to as well as my if you gotta read it challenge TBR books. And then I have some bookends on top of it that have books that I've picked out of my TBR buckets books that I want to read for certain goals. That is how I organize my bookcases. So I want to thank everyone who tagged me in these videos and who created these amazing tags. If you have tons of tags that you know you'll never get to, I tag you to do Jay Maddox's mashup tag. And if you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe. And I'll be back every Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes Sunday with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.